Hey guys, crew at Blind Wave. I'm Aaron. Wait, your turn. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. Yeah. Get... <laughs> We're no. back. Arrow. Aaron. No. Arrow. No. Aaron. Arrow. Yes. What happened last time? Bomb people. Yes. Lance almost died. That did happen. He got saved by Laurel, which means he's very vulnerable and he's probably going to die later. Yes. Maybe. Mm hmm. But what else happened? Felicity's mom was mad at Lance. And yeah. Left. And then. We got back with Lance. Gonna be dangerous. He's probably gonna be in the grave. Oh, okay. Well, what else happened? Nothing. Nothing. Dark and William and no connection to Samantha and no. They might be in the grave. No. Yeah. Nothing happened. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Nothing happened. That didn't, didn't happen, happen, Eric. Back up. Now, a uh, little housekeeping beforehand. I don't know if you guys saw, but we did release a little reaction to a CW seed show called Vixen, which was pretty cool. Yeah. The reason we did that is a little birdie told us that we needed to catch up on it for this episode. So, we might have a slight spoiler in terms of that, mm -hmm. but I'm mm -hmm. glad that we watched it. I wonder if she's going to be there, like, wanting help? If she's going to be there to help? If they know about William? Remember, she called it in the in Vixen. She said it was magic. She could, she's pretty formidable. Mm. Maybe she could be, like, a Damien Dark fighter. She phased for some reason. We don't know why. Yeah, I don't know how that. Is. I don't know the animals that can just go through stuff. Yeah, she could become a deer and eat all the corn. Don't know shit. Then once you open, then once you open your eyes, I was like, "Oh, guess let's go." <laughs> you look up and I'm like, "That does look so tiny on your head." Because they are. You got a tiny fucking head. It makes up for your nothing. Tiny. That was the creepiest look you've ever given me. All right, guys, that's everything for uh, setting up Arrow. Aaron, make sure you go and hit that button. She's good. I'm gonna have a geek to know science fiction when they see it. Are you still disappointed? Yeah, you know. It'll work. Give it time. It's stupid. I wanted to be a little block down the aisle on our wedding day. Is it tomorrow or something? <laughs> Oh shit. Mm. Always gotta do that. Sorry about the limo. Love the wheelchair. Might I suggest motorized? You fucking dick. Felicity's right there. Tell her. Oh. Aaron! I can't believe that you had a child that you didn't tell me about. It's out of the way in the early part of the episode. Apparently the only two people that knew about William were... Oh, the, the, the X-Prize, the X-Prize. First day I found out, too. Oh, fuck. What's our next plan? Fuck! That's not gonna be good. I will call Barry, see what CCPD can do. Is it okay if I tell Barry that William just... Fuck! Think he's gonna do that? Mm. Oh, she's dead. Not the person that I used to be. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, tense. Ooh, he's done with, with all of them. Oh damn it! All these chicks ganging up on all of her. Not the good way. No, you were in the right, even though you knew about the relationship. We need new strategy. But Constantine, he's in hell. Really? What's going on? I mean, he's actually literally in hell. What? I, I might know someone else. That's funny. Her name is Marty She possesses a totem which is powered by magic. She calls herself Dixon. Ooh! Ooh. Detroit! I want to see it! I want to see the powers! Shoot the animals! Oh! This Where'd is, you, this, is go? this is scary. Oh. Oh, uh, I told you it was going to be like that. Oh. 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 Her suit's different. 
it's a little better. Actually, cool. too much. Her, her hair is longer too. Yeah. She has short hair. Mari and I had an animated encounter last year, and we've been in touch ever since. Oh, uh -huh. a flash! It's a flash doll. Action figure. Don't you dare tell Barry about this. <laughs> oh, he's like a demon. Supernatural. Sammy. <laughs> ah! My name is Cassiel. I'm an angel of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can fly. We know that, but it's live action. Oliver Queen, father. See, thank you, Diggle. right there, man. I didn't know who he was. Now I didn't know what kind of person he was. Going around, just try and remember that I was the one that made him choose between you and knowing his son. Ooh, here we go. Whoa! I like that. That's a cool shot. That's new. Oh, man, these guys are idiots. Yeah, <laughs> they're standing there like, see those new 216s? Do you sense it? Oh, he knows now. He knows. I win, you lose, rinse, repeat. Oh, really? Ooh, oh, mix in. Oh, come on. Do something. Work together. Fuck, Diggle, shoot him. Oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a Ooh, gorilla grod! Can't use both hands that time. Man, yeah, Dark is very powerful. He's so much more threatening than Vader. Dude, he Savage. should be fighting Legends tomorrow. Oh! I know. The hey, Arm Head! Stick figure. Yeah, I know. It's like me drawing. Like, oh, he looked like this. Bullets in him at all. What's going on, Aaron? You're, not, you're like going through him. Oh. Thank you, Constantine. I only just learned his ep his name this episode. Mike, Alex. Leading by 16 points. <laughs> Sucks when you can't tell the truth. I like this episode. Yeah, me too. I don't know what's gonna happen. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> All right, round two. Get ready for that. Ooh, like a tiger, panther. Whoa! Oh. Shoot! You don't fucked up now. Throw on a bike, you fools! Whoa! Whoa. Aaron, look. That's no, so. Uh, that's so fucking hot. She does yoga. Oh, I don't want to say. What kind of deep Dude, power? Are they take out dark here, though? Just shoot it, Diggle! He's just a man now, Aaron. <sighs> Holy crap, man. They depowered Dark. There's someone here that you must have missed. It's a kind of old flush. Only green and all action figure. <laughs> Oh, bitch, I'm gonna cry. I will let you guys get reacquainted. Detective Scorch and William on a dog, so check them out. Dark didn't take him. It's a guy with a missing head. <sighs> Go in. <laughs> What's in there? What's that? Giant cave. I turned 
you from a delicate, spoiled brat into a warrior. And all I've ever gotten from you in return is your venomous spite. For oh. a very good reason. You have no idea what you are up against. And I would rather you hate me and be alive than love me and be dead. Father should be there for his child every day. No matter what. To make sure that they feel loved, that they feel safe, and the child should be able to rely on the father Aww. and go to him for, for guidance and reassurance. I'm the Green Arrow, and my life is very dangerous, which is why we decided to keep you out of it for all these years. And that's why I've asked your mother to move you far away. We had that figure. And to not tell anyone where she's taking you. It's also why I asked her to wait to show you this message. Until after your 18th birthday. Goodbye, mm -hmm. son. Sure, it's not forever. I can't do this. When your son was in danger, I had to table what I was feeling about everything. But now that I've had some space, I realize I need space. I know it's an impossible decision, but you are right. You should have told me. But once again, you have left me out of the decision. Well, they started working? Just in time for her to walk away. Man. I feel like of a lot of ways they could have gone with that. They chose the most soap opera like. I mean, it's what happened before. It's what yeah. happened again. I know. I, I, I get it. The only thing I don't think that she has the right to complain about is that Oliver decided not to be in his son's life. Which yeah. I don't think should be her decision at all anyway. No, and she was like, well, you once again, you not included me in that decision. The whole thing will like, well, yeah, I understand that Samantha told you not to, not to say anything, but I don't care. You should have told me anyway. I mean, I I get that, but if I was in that situation, one, I would understand. Like, yeah, that would make me upset, but I understand it. I wouldn't just like, oh, I have to leave. The way she worded it is that yeah. he won't lean on his partner. He takes it all on him. He, it's not. It's not a. It's not yeah. a partnership. It's him taking care of her. And mm -hmm. she wants she wants them both to be equals in the relationship and talk to each other and share. If there's a problem, they both share the weight of the problem, yeah. not just one of them. I get that. Maybe the thing that I'm most upset about is that when she got hurt and she was in the hospital, I mean, Oliver was out trying to do something about it, and then eventually he's like, I'm going to stay here because this is where I belong, right? Yeah. And then he just goes through this huge emotional trauma, losing the, the thing about the mayor. Mm -hmm. His He's not going to be able to see his son even though he wants to. And all of that stuff, and she doesn't even give him one second until after he's he done with the laptop, and uh, one kind of approaching on his privacy, two, like just coming up and saying, "All right, well, now that you've had that emotional roller coaster, guess what? You're going on another one." I mean, if they came out with it in the next episode, it still would feel awkward. Yeah, it would. I mean, I if it were me, I just wouldn't go this route because I just feel like it's not very well, interesting. Which way would you go? They just huh? stay together. I mean, I'd go the way Diggle went. Fucking Diggle's like he's like, Hey, sorry that I lied to you about this. Diggle's like, Hey, I get it. Yeah. Give a kid. I, I did it I did like Diggle's acceptance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Diggle like it didn't even take a second. He's like, Hey, we're best friends, we're partners, we do rely upon each other. He relies on Felicity for a lot well, of things. Maybe that's the issue though. He but he does reply rely on Felicity, just not in absolutely everything. Does it have to be absolutely everything? I mean, I guess from Felicity's point of view, yeah. I don't know. I I just I don't know. I find it to be a little unnatural, but that's just my opinion. It doesn't invalidate yours or anybody else's. I just want to make sure that's clear. Um, I'm still, other than that, that part, I enjoyed the rest of the episode mm -hmm. a lot. So much. Unfortunately, that just kind of soured the, the ending for me. But that's fine. You know, I just want to make sure, too. I'm not one of those guys that's like one of the Olicity haters because there's a lot. Like, you try to go on any, like, fan site or anything to, like, talk about these kind of things. Mm -hmm. People just go fucking... So hateful for that relationship. 
Really? You know? So, I mean, it's crazy. It's, like, disgusting how crazy it is. I mean, since season one, I kind of liked her better than the Laurel relationship idea, I think. I agree, too. But And, I mean, I had my problems with season three a little bit with her being a little bit too much kind of like this. Um, but that's fine. And I might just get over this here in the next week, you know? I just wish they went another way. It's kind of like with the... If you're not watching Flash, it's, it's kind of like with the Zoom reveal. I'm like, oh, okay. I kind of wish it went another way, you mm-hmm. know? It's the same way with this, the, but that's fine. Whatever. Well, we we do know here in another what month or two months or whatever the time frame is. Yeah. She's still not back with them yes. in a marriage stance anyway. At least. Yeah. They are in a limo together. Yeah. But it's not, I mean, they're still gonna. Really I mean, even in this episode, they worked together, or she worked with him begrudgingly because that's her job, right? Yeah. But I mean, there wasn't the in the limo and Diggle in the limo. True. And Lance with them because they're all dead. Yeah. But. Okay. So we can get it over with. This does kind of put... not I won't say a nail in the, the theoretical coffin of my theory. Logically, with from the, this point on, we just won't see William and Samantha. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll see them in the future. Yeah. Something we'll happens see. there. You know, that theory of she, her dying and him taking over, I think would be the next logical point in the story. But I don't think that it, it might not finish out this season. And if it does, it might be kind of weird. So, uh... But we can't. I can't get slapped until we actually know who it is. I think we all agree about that. But let's remember. No, Aaron, you don't have to be proud of. Okay, you don't have to be proud of. I'm proud. I made this theory. That I took. <laughs> you're you're that... proud of nothing. You didn't do anything. You just did what any normal rational person would have done. It took advantage of you. Of an irrational person. Stupid irrational deal. And I, I made to slap you in the face here soon. I made this this theory on that. First Q and A of this year, right? The first Q and A, because I just I thought it'd be funny, <laughs> but it's not funny anymore. It's looming. It's looming ever closer. So we'll just have to see what's going you, on. There. You could have had me narrow down, like Aaron, who's your number one pick? I'm like, I'm yeah. gonna say Lance, and you're like, all right. So if it's Lance, you slap me. If it's Samantha, I slap you. I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah. And then if it's anyone else, we just didn't slap. Well, now me. it's not gonna be fun anymore because we have to wait until I'm wrong. Yeah. Sounds fun to me. <laughs> I get to sit here, you're, just, you're gonna be watching the arrow, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna keep growing my beard until then. You can slap me as hard as you fucking want. You'll be I'll like, Aaron, let's go fight, and I'll cut your hand off. <laughs> Malcolm Merlin. Yeah. Speaking of which, yes, Dark didn't take William. No, Malcolm did. He delivered it to him. I, I, I enjoyed Malcolm's performance, but I almost was not understanding what he was saying a little bit, as well. Like, what else is coming? Like, yeah. he act like there's something else out there, right? Yeah. Did they take care of Dark now? Dark's oh, done? There's Project Genesis. He knows about that. Okay. I don't know what that is. And he's involved with it, right? Is Dark... Was this, like, some big plan he had just to get rid of Dark, and now he's already in, so now he's going to move up Well, we, we speculated that in our Q&A. Yeah. It could be. Um, but no. the whole thing, like, I kidnapped William to protect us. What's he mean? I don't fuck. She almost died there. Yeah, I'm just, she's what, being choked by Dark. <laughs> yeah, because William's there. Yeah. What's he talking about? I don't know. Maybe, I I think he lost too much blood <laughs> with his hand. <laughs> He's just going crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's because gang, gangrene. Yeah, because <laughs> Barrowman he gave a great performance. Like, oh yeah, the performance didn't match the information given. I felt like. I mean, I loved when he was like, "I'd rather have you. I'd rather have you hate me and be alive." Yeah. Then love me and be dead. That was cool. I, I love but, that. But, but what you did result in her almost dying. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It it just seems like it was not as well thought out. His motivations always kind of seem weird. Cause like I would do anything to save yeah. my daughter. I'm like, but you were gonna sacrifice her to keep the League of Assassins. Yeah. So like you wouldn't do anything to save your daughter. True. He's like, what are you talking about here? Yeah. A father's love. They didn't show him when they were giving that speech about fathers loving their daughter. They showed Diggle. <laughs> they showed Lance. They yeah. showed Malcolm. <laughs> Heck, they'd be better off showing Dark with his daughter. <laughs> they probably would have. He's like in jail, like in the glass. And daughter's like mm, crying, nutty. You're taking this too far. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The one thing that bothered me was when Samantha comes in and Laurel, I'm sorry. You know, I I I knew you guys were a thing. And yeah, it wasn't your fault. It was his. He's like Oliver should have told me. He's like, wait a minute, she. It she, takes two she, to tango, she buddy. She just said that she knew. Yeah, like. Is that not both their faults? I don't know. I I mean, with that and then the other stuff, I, I kind of felt like Oliver was just ganged up on this episode. Yeah. Like, and, he, and he's not anywhere near the same guy he was, yeah. what, 
10 years ago. Yeah. I mean, I just didn't want it to pull down my, like, sheer emotion I had when that kid's like, I want a Green Arrow figure now, you know? Yeah. That was cool. I love that. I just wish that I was left with that rather than, like, annoyance. Now here in, like, eight years, you get to learn that his dad was the Green Arrow. Yeah. Damn. Or, like, you know, two months. Two, what? Well, when Samantha dies, he sees that, and he shows up there, and he's like, oh, wow, and he's like, oh, my gosh, and I slap in the face. You're really holding on to this. I ha- that's why I have. <laughs> I have to. He ropes off Frazier's, like, holding on to a thread, like, no, please. Quit mocking me. I'll leave you like Felicity did all of her. She fucking, why, why'd they have to use that moment to, to have her stand? You Just, know? So she can walk away? Yeah, I know. I said that, like, like it what have a been way like to a... cheapen the triumph of the moment. You know? Like, the fact that she gets to stand and it's not like a sign, like, oh, I can stand. I can walk down the aisle. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Puts it right back on. <coughs> you know, you could have had this come up next episode, and then, like, some situation happens where she has to get up and, like, run to help Oliver, and he, he's trusting her, like, Felicity, I know you can do this. I know you can do it. You know, he's he actually is leaning on her, you know? Solves the problems. But they, they don't do that. They have her get up this mir- miracle of Curtis Holt's being, and she gets up and walks away, and we're left like, well, fuck. You know? What? A- I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't want to be... I know people that work on the show sometimes watch her stuff. Mm. I just don't, don't want to make them be like... Do they? Know. Well, sometimes I Thank hear. you. Yeah, and it's awesome. I'm only this passionate, because I love the show. I do love the show. I, but I'm very passionate. I almost cried I three like- times during this. I know. I like tears and stuff. Billy I wipe my shit. tears with Arrow. <laughs> you see <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Ah. I don't know. With Felicity, I just last episode with her talking to her mom about Lance and like you know was keeping the secret to try to protect her and keep her safe. That's that's, that's yeah. all that Oliver was doing really with the whole like I know. with the son really. It doesn't. It just does not jive for me. I can understand Felicity's point too, but a lot of this could have been resolved if Oliver wouldn't have been yeah. just keeping. The and secret. don't get me wrong, I understand Felicity's point. I just think that it's too stonewalled for what we've seen of her character in this season. Especially, like, mm. her in the not walking, almost dead, yada yada, yep. and he's just not there at all. And she's yeah. like, it's a, I understand. Yeah. Get that back. And the way that her advice to her mother, and the way that she's just been, you know, so damn positive. She'll come strong. around. She'll come around. Well, of course. When she comes around, she gets to come back to the table. No, well, she's not coming around yet, so... Oh, yeah. Speaking of, Dark is depowered. Yes. Is he done? I don't is he not so. going to be like the villain anymore? No, he'll... I don't know. I have no idea what to even say How about it. How strong is his wife? What do you mean? How sh- like, what, 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 she seemed like she was in charge of Dark, you know what I mean? I don't like, think she was in charge. I think they were like either equal or he was like a CEO trying to impress, uh, impress his like board of directors. Like One is technically stronger, but the other one's make decisions. Yeah. You know what I said at one point, too, is like, he if he revokes his candidacy, yeah, then afterwards says that he was blackmailed, and you know his son was held hostage and yada yada, yeah. but now he can't do that because he wants to keep it from his son and not let him know and send him off and everything. Sure. So now he can't just be like, "This is why I wouldn't run again because I was being blackmailed. I had to do this." Does the general public not know that she is Dark's wife? Oh, so she's just like a single lady running for mayor. Yeah, because I think everyone knows who Dark is. Yeah, because he was killing mares. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, he walked in that one room in the beginning of the yeah. season with Lance there and just yeah, started like, killing Yeah, like, I'm going to kill, kill everybody. What are you, you going to do? Nothing left. Okay, all right. Um, big part of this episode, Aaron, was the introduction or premiere or whatever of Vixen. And I personally feel if you did not know who Vixen was and see that show, you might be like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Really, I'm really glad, I'm we, glad watched we watched that. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm really glad. It was really good. I liked what they did with her character. And yeah, me too. The I liked that they did do the CGI animals and all that kind of stuff, yes. and it was awesome. Yeah. Apparently, that's the same voice actress, so they just casted the same actress. You know, they, she wasn't planning on being a live action ad- adaptation, but they're like, hey, she looks like her. Mm. You know, so that was cool. She did all right. She did very good. Um, her action scenes might have could have been a little better in terms. Most of, of it was like, just her getting thrown around. Yeah, right? but we we all know that like aggressive. Body movement that sometimes a untrained actor can lack, you know. I mean, they like Laurel's got way better at it. Yeah. Like, but before she was kind of like you know, 
looked like she was like tiptoeing around sometimes. Yeah, I felt like a little bit. Well, I think they worked around it. They only had her do like no, they didn't have her do like anything yeah. until the rhino push against those three guys. Yeah, and then um, against Dark, she didn't really do much. Yeah, and then, except for like either get held by him or she flipped over CGI to him and took off. Yeah, so I think it worked out. Yeah, um, they, I wouldn't mind if they kept if they kept using her, bringing her back, give her own show or something like that, and then just build up and she get better and be good. I mean, I. At the very least, do another season of that the animated? cartoon. I, I did like... Uh, the animated encounter. We had an animated uh, interaction or whatever. Yeah. There. That was pretty cool. Um, her line when she first shows up, when you first see her, and the guy's like, come out and fight like a man. She's like, how about I kick your ass like a woman, you know? Which one I thought was funny and cool, if not a little corny. Mm -hmm. But she powers up like a rhino right before it happens, right? And just in my head, I totally thought she was going to say... How about I kick your ass as a rhino? <laughs> In my head, I was like that. Oh, why would Eric? Why would they even say that? But now I'm disappointed they didn't. Why don't I kick your ass? Why don't I kick your ass as a rhino? Mm -hmm. And people and people that don't know who she is would be like, what? What? That'd be cool. I'm sorry. I, that would have been really funny for me. What's our new tag for this episode's of flashbacks? Oh right? yeah, uh, we had got a rock, lost a rock, read a rock. Um, got out, of, got out of a cell, go to hell. That's a little longer. That's long, yeah. But, uh, um, we don't know it's hell. Met a demon. Um, found a hole. <laughs> hole in rock. <laughs> hole in rock. Hole in rock. Got a rock, lost a rock, read a rock, hole in rock. Yeah, it's not the same rock, it doesn't flow. No, it's a different rock. Maybe we'll have to discontinue the, the line thing, but at least stuff actually happened. How about found a hole? Probably the next episode's gonna be went in a hole. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> and like, the next was like escape the hole, stuff in the hole, and then get out of the hole, and then get the thing back in the hole. I don't know. And then take it back out of the hole. So what's, what do you think's going on? Put it over back there? in the hole. What are you talking about? What do you think's going on over there on the, these flashbacks? <laughs> They're going to hell. That's what Ca that's what Castiel. That's where Constantine is. That's f is he in this? Con you no, know, he has been. In he can't be in, con in hell there because we saw him in the flashbacks, and then he came over and helped them. No, and he's then, not there in the flashback. He yeah. left. That's where he is now. Yeah. Like, that's hell. Yes, he's so in... When Oliver's like, he's in hell, I think that's setting up... I think they're going to go into, like... This is like some hell Wait, so place. Oliver's going to go to hell. Maybe. Lian Yu is hell. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I know that Oliver has seen the mirror Kiru, and from now we know he's seen Constantine. Yep. But in seasons one, two, and three of Arrow, the first time he met, like, a metahuman or Flash, it was like... This changes everything. Because they... This is like the time I went to hell. <laughs> he didn't do that. Well, no, but... You know what I'm saying? No. It kind of messes up a little bit of that mm. revelation of like, you know, Diggle being like, oh my gosh, you're so fast, you know? Well, it's Diggle, just... oh, you know what? I went to hell one time and fought a demon <laughs> with a knife this way. <laughs> you know? I mean, we'll I just, it's kind of... We don't know what's in there. It could be something else, maybe. It might not be hell, but it was a demon thing. And just, there's magic. I just think Oliver being like, well, how about Constantine? Like, well, he's in hell. No, really, he's he's in hell. Yeah. Like, how does he know that? How does he... Maybe he caught him. Hey, I gotta go down to hell for a little bit. Hey, I'm not gonna be available. Hey, can you help me? Plus, wasn't Constantine, like, kind of scared of when he heard about Dark? He's like, oh, you don't be messing with him, yeah, mate. he was. And left. Does Dark have some reason he can't kill Oliver? When every time he had him, like, three different times choking him, right? Why not just kill him? There's nothing Oliver can do about it. I don't know. Why like, whenever, he... like, you know, he showed up in the thing, like, I got your son. And he was, like, choking him for a second. If he really wants him out of the race, and he has no problem killing people, and he doesn't know that's the Green Arrow or whatever, the two weeks... See, they don't know. He doesn't know. I Apparently. It seems kind of heavy-handed, but I guess. Yeah. <laughs> heavy-handed. He has a mask. I know. And a voice oh, changer. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leather. All right. But, to finish that point, if he just killed Oliver, I mean, it's not like mayor candidates have been, have been getting killed a lot. He could just kill Oliver, and... It, it erases all of this needless take a son, which is kind of hypocritical to this whole take a daughter thing. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's okay to take a son. You just can't take yeah. a daughter. I, I guess. That makes sense. Obviously, guys, there is a lot to talk about with this episode. And is this show going off the air as well? For like a month? People keep on saying that. I don't know. Okay. Well, I've, I've heard that. I know Flash I've heard is all be three off. were. I heard that Legends isn't, but yeah. Arrow and Flash are. Okay. I've heard, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So, anyway, we'll be doing a QA for all of these questions that we have. And as you can tell, there is a lot of different 
things to talk about. So we don't have to talk all about the grave. We, we kind of have our ideas. My theory is pretty much bunk, um, but that's fine. I'm glad this episode happened. I'm, honestly, I would rather it confirm that she is not the one in the grave than to have that Felicity scene at the end. That's how much I both don't care about my theory and dislike that, that scene. <laughs> That's me. And once again, my thoughts do not represent Blind Wave or Aaron at all. Nope. Do you have anything you want to say about it? I and mean, you kind of talked about it. I kind of did. I just, I understand both sides of it. I don't necessarily like the decision she made, but yeah. I can understand why. I'm just hoping in later episodes things kind of, because she can't just leave. She has oh, no. to be Overwatch. She has yeah, to be part of the I team. Know. So they're going to be together at some point. Yeah. I think she just needs time. She didn't really take it. And she's just making a rash decision. Yeah. I mean, maybe rash even decision. Maybe even to that point is kind of what gets me like a little like bummed or disappointed or annoyed is that ultimately I know she'll be back. You know, so this is like a. I mean, she might not. I mean, we know in two months or whatever she's not going to be happy with him still. Yeah, but when her mom dies. Yeah, I don't know. Lots of stuff to talk about. So regardless of when we see you guys the next time, we will see you next time. We will be talking about everything, and then we will react to the next episode <coughs> of Arrow. Uh, but the week is not over yet, Aaron. No. They can come back tomorrow for Legends yeah, of which, Tomorrow. We should hopefully have some arrows there. Mm. Or something. Yes, we will. Something. I wonder if... I don't know what's going on. Is Fliss going to be in that one? Like, they're married in that one. Like, damn it! Yeah. Quit showing us the future! <laughs> it's the future! I mean, when you think about it, it says Smoke, not Queen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or Palmer. All right, guys. We got we to gotta quit talking. We've been talking Drop too the pin. long. We're out. Down in the description, social media, up there, blindwave.net. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Here by Felicity. By Felicity. We will see you guys next time. I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Aaron, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just making sure her legs work.